For you to become a bull rider, it takes more than skill. You need extra courage and a lot of enthusiasm. Imagine holding onto a raging bull for about eight seconds, all while holding onto a rope with just one hand. That's definitely not easy. In the history of bull riding, there is one legend who died doing what he loved, the late Lane Frost. He was just a young man making history in bull riding when, on one fateful day, nature was against him. So what exactly happened to young bull rider Lane Frost? Well, without further ado, let's get started. There are many times that the TVs have been graced with the performance of young Lane Frost. You would see the chute swing open and the bull exploding out, spinning and kicking frantically. On top of this 1,500 pounds of nothing but raging muscle, there would be a lean, focused cowboy. His gloved hand would hold on tightly to the rope as Lane held on for dear life. You can just see how his body absorbs all the shock from the movement of the bull. At this point, it is always man versus beast. The crowd would scream loudly as they waited to see if the young man would manage to hold on for dear life for eight whole seconds. And once the buzzer rang, the bull would send Lane flying with his signature leap. The crowd would go wild as he jumped to his feet with his fist in the air and a mighty grin. He would then tip his hat as he left the arena, winning the crowd again with his element and sheer style. It was as though he was born to be there. However, on one fateful day, the crowd's cheers went silent as they all stared in horror. Everyone watched the final moments of the young bull rider who had had a deadly encounter with the beast. This is the accident that led to changes being made in the bull riding society to protect the riders. But what exactly happened? Well, before we look at that, let's first go back in time and see the life of young bull rider Lane Frost. Lane Clyde Frost was born in La Junta, Colorado on October 12, 1963. At the time, his father Clyde was off competing on the professional rodeo circuit. At this time, the bareback rider was just making a name for himself, chasing his dreams of glory. It is safe to assume that Rodeo was already in Lane's blood from birth. This is evident from how little Lane would sleep through the night, but leap off the bed on days when there was a bull riding event. Lane's mother, Elsie, claimed that the little boy knew exactly what was going on. For some reason, the flying hooves, flared nostrils, and wild bucking all spoke to his soul. When he was just three years old, he would throw a tantrum when his parents tried to leave a rodeo early. He had to see it all to the end and enjoy every bit of it. When he was a young boy, Lane's family had a dairy farm in Vernal, Utah. While here, an energetic young Lane learned how to ride frisky calves. And when he was nine years old, he entered his first rodeo. And during this competition, he emerged the first one in bareback riding on top of a Shetland pony. This was the beginning of his career in bull riding, which he never expected to turn out the way it did. When he was 10, he joined another competition and won the Utah State Bull Riding title. This would be the first of many championships in his collection. When he was in his early teens, the family moved to Oklahoma, where the young lad learned all that he could from family friend and legendary bull rider Freckles Brown. Lane made sure to study the legend's moves and skills in bull riding, making sure to take in as much as he could. By the time he was in high school, Lane had already decided that he would not go to college and instead become a world champion bull rider. And with all his confidence, all this came to pass in one way or another. In 1981, he claimed the national high school bull riding title. Little did he know, that this would be the end of his high school career and the beginning of a whole new world for him. In 1983, after finishing high school, the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association welcomed him with open arms. However, Lane joined the rodeo world with a bang by qualifying for the national finals rodeo while he was still a rookie. This is something that was never done before and it has never happened again since. Clearly, he had immense talent and unlimited potential in all of this. In 1987, his dreams came true when he claimed the coveted PRCS World Champion Bull Rider title. 
He had already achieved his dream by the time he was 24 years old, which was very young. The whole sport was never the same after Lane's performances, as he brought about a whole new energy and style. He would win the crowds with his athleticism, showmanship, and million-dollar smile. Kids always rushed to him any chance they got to get an autograph from the star. If it weren't for the fact that he died doing what he loved, he would have probably made history as the greatest bull rider in the history of bull riding. But what is bull riding all about? The main goal of bull riding is to maintain the eight second rule. This is the standard time that the rider is supposed to stay on top of the bull for them to get a score. More specifically, the bull rider has to hold on to a bull rope while perched on the bull for a total of eight seconds. The timer starts when the bull leaves the gate and shoots out. However, the rider has to have one hand free and it shouldn't touch either the bull or themselves. The timer only stops when the rider touches the ground or when they touch the bull with their free hand. To qualify and get a point, the rider must complete the eight seconds as they spur in a rhythmic motion. After that, the riders are scored based on their degree of control and aggression. On the other hand, if the rider doesn't hold on for the full eight seconds, they get no score. This eight second standard is meant to test the rider's skill and athleticism in maintaining control of the massive beast as it spins around with so much agility. It is considered to be the heart and soul of professional bull riding competitions. One of the things that made Lane Frost so legendary was his encounters with some of the most famous bulls. One such bull is the legendary Red Rock, which he had a chance to tag along on the back of in 1988. Red Rock was said to have so much explosive power, with some even saying that it was impossible to ride. So much so that the bull was even voted as PRCA Bucking Bull of the Year in 1987. The bull had already dispatched all its challengers for years. So when word got out that PRCA champion Lane Frost would be facing off against Red Rock in a main TV event, there was a lot of national attention to the whole competition. These two had seven total showdowns, all of which gained a lot of public interest to levels that it had never gotten to before. Of these seven showdowns, Lane won and conquered four of them, proving that it was not impossible to ride this beast at all. This man versus beast showdown riveted audiences, even becoming one of the greatest events in rodeo history. And with these events, Lane Frost etched his name in history. Outside of the arena, Lane had an easygoing charm and a welcoming nature. Most of his fans were, in fact, kids who would do anything to get an autograph from him. Lane never let the fame get to him, and he never turned down any request for an autograph. He would even take his time with each fan as though they were old friends or something like that. He had a way of making someone feel so special about themselves, no matter who they were. Lane had a pain tolerance unlike any other. However, it was his toughness of spirit that set him apart. In one instance, when a disappointed young fan needed consoling, after Lane didn't manage to win a fight with a bull, he took the boy, placed him on his shoulders, and told him not to worry. In late July 1989, Lane Frost embarked on a familiar road trip, this time to Cheyenne Frontier Days in Wyoming. Cheyenne Frontier Days is seen as the preeminent rodeo event. It had a lot of history behind it and it is of great significance in the sport of rodeo and cowboy culture. Winning here is considered one of the crowning achievements for any cowboy. As Lane traveled here, he had his eyes on another bull riding world title. At the time, his wife stayed behind to start her role as a stunt double in an upcoming movie. During this time, Lane had already planned to raise children, train horses, and build a family ranch. And the initial plan was to start on that the moment he got back from Wyoming. However, fate clearly had other plans during this time. On July 30th, 1989, sitting on top of a legendary bull called Taken Care of Business, Lane nodded his readiness. The gate swung open and the massive bull exploded out, 
spinning and kicking aggressively. Lane held onto the rope as tightly as he could with one hand in the air, as though he were enjoying it. And after eight long seconds, Lane leapt from the top of the bull with his signature flying leap, free from harm. As usual, when he got to the ground, he rolled clear. However, unlike other bulls, this one turned around and charged before Lane could even react. The bull struck Lane with its right horn, which was razor sharp. It pierced through his skin, fracturing several lower ribs, puncturing his lungs, and lacerating his aorta. Lane managed to get up and wait for help before eventually staggering and collapsing. Immediately, everyone noticed what happened, and a trauma team rushed him to the hospital, where the doctors did everything they could to keep the young star alive. However, even with everything they tried, the damage was a bit too fatal. Eventually, Lane Frost was pronounced dead at the hospital. At just 25 years old, Lane Frost's unrealized potential left the rodeo community. The bull had inflicted damage that even his toughness could not handle, but the fact that he was able to stand up after the blow just shows how strong he is. However, even though he was still too young, he left a legacy. He also had a persona that inspired lots of other cowboys. And those are the last minutes of legendary bull rider Lane Frost. Feel free to share your thoughts on this story in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.